by the salmon fish in town, you by the ropery, saw you, my dear sailor laddie, sailing on the raging sea. I come by the salmon fish and I come by the ropery, I saw your dear sailor laddie, sailing on the deep blue sea. By the salmon fish and come you by the rope Jangles up the salmon bothy every Friday virtually. Hey, Orp, how art he? Right. I happen there's not, and happen there. Eh, uh, well, it'll be right, eh? Um, <clears throat> I shall abandon my home accent, uh, just so that everybody can understand me. Um, <clears throat> but I, I am proud of where I come from. And, uh, and so should we all be. Um, there's a, a massive, uh, wonderful network of, um, of songs and stories and tunes. And for hundreds and hundreds of years they've travelled. Um, all over these wonderful British Isles, um, Scotland and England and Wales and Ireland have an incredible wealth of um, wonderful tunes and songs and stories. Um, doubtless we'll meet some of them tonight, but I just want to return to a um, to a more standard bill of fare for, for us tonight. I say tonight, I mean, you could be watching this at three in the morning, I don't know. Um, whatever, you are very welcome. Folk at the Salmon Bothy, March 2021. This is our Friday night with Folk at the Salmon Bothy and uh, everybody's very welcome. We're going to start off, uh, as I say, in a in a very traditional vein for uh, for us at folk at the salmon bothy, um, with our very own Mr. Paul Kersley. Suddenly the night it has turned colder. The God of love preparing. To depart Alexander hoisted on his shoulder this slip between the sentries of the heart upheld by the simplicities of pleasure making the light they formlessly entwine and radiant beyond your wildest measure They fall among the voices and the wine It's not a trick, your senses are deceiving A fitful dream, the morning will exhaust Say goodbye to Alexandra leaving Or oh, say goodbye to Alexandra lost Even though she sleeps upon your satin Even though she wakes you with a kiss Do not see the moment was imagined Do not stoop to strategies like this As someone long prepared for this to happen Go firmly to the window Drink it in Exquisite music Alexandra laughing 
Your first commitment tangible again And you had the honor of an evening And by that honor you had your own restored Say goodbye to Alexandra leaving Alexandra leaving with a lord Even though she sleeps upon your satin Even though she wakes you with a kiss Do not say the moment was imagined Do not stoop to strategies like this Has someone long prepared for this to happen In full command of every plan you wrecked Do not choose a coward's explanation That hide behind the cause Say goodbye to Alexandra leaving Or say goodbye to Alexandra lost Say goodbye to Alexandra leaving Say goodbye to Alexandra lost Thanks very much, Paul. Um, he always delivers a song in a wonderful manner. Uh, I, I just love the way he uh, he sings. Now we're going to have our first guests, um, and those are going to be uh, Paul Walker and Karen Pfeiffer. Um, I um, I came across these guys when they they contacted me so last year, about this time last year, I think. Um, maybe a little bit later, and uh, they write their own songs. Uh, they have a wonderful style about them. They're based in Germany. Um, this is a, a Paul Walker, and I think possibly Karen as well, um, contributed a song called The Rejected Songwriters Club. Enjoy. Hello, we're Paul Walker and Karen Pfeiffer. And we're from Stoke on Trend and Stuttgart. And this is one of our newer songs. Thank you. If you're looking for an easy way to make ends meet, take a shot at the art. Uh, Unsure what to pursue, well you could maybe write a song or two It can't be that hard If you're short of inspiration I get a lot of mine down at the pub Welcome to the rejected Songwriters Club Welcome to the rejected Songwriters Club Now there's lots of competitions that you need to be in Only 20 bucks per song I always choose the category Unrequited love with a story that's not too long It's always good to be optimistic But set yourself up for a snub Welcome to the rejected Songwriters Club 
Welcome to the rejected Songwriters Club Gifted, isn't she? It's always good to be optimistic, but set yourself up for a snub. Welcome to the rejected Songwriters Club. Welcome to the rejected Songwriters Club. Thank you. Thanks, Karen and Paul. Thank you very much. Um, as I say, uh, that's our first guest. We've got a few this time, and I hope you're going to enjoy uh, watching and listening with me. Um, what I'm starting to turn into Eric Morecambe. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> We're going to move on now to um, one of my favourite people, Debbie Taylor. She writes um, a lot of her, uh, songs, and um, I, if you haven't managed to see um, much of them, I, I really recommend going back through our our back catalogue and um, and listening to them. She always writes them from a very personal point of view. She um, she has her own way of looking at the world and I, I love it. This one is a little bit of a, 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 um, a different one offering from her um, in that it's got uh, a backing that, uh, the, that she's organised herself and um, it has a video that goes with it. Please enjoy um, Debbie Taylor and uh, sitting in my garden. Captured in a 
Thanks, Debbie. Thank you very much. Um, I love your songs. Um, right, we're going to come now to um, another friend of mine, Paul Rudke. Uh, not known him for a long time. He's, he's known, been known by um, uh, a lot of people in the club, or quite a number of people in the club for, for quite a while. Um, but uh, I met him a few years ago uh, when uh, he came to our open session at, uh, at my local pub. Uh, in here in White Hills and uh, he delivers songs um, beautifully uh, with a, a, a style all of his own and I just love the the gravitas of his his performance Ooh, big words <laughs> um, he is uh, gonna bring us the snows of France and Holland Paul thank you Song called The Snows of France and Holland, the Prime of New. Prime of New song, sorry. For oh, the north wind knows no waters, as it shifts across the shovel, it finds out all the other roads. The dark nights even more Father's many is a weary copper He flanders to the right And the snows of France and Holland Are far to be on my Well, the sounds to hear and sounds to fear Sights to mark you sing And the bonniest in the morning Is it's no goose on the wing For her neck is long and slender Her road's a single line And the snows of France and Poland a part of me and mine Oh, the moon stands over the ocean As the waves roll back to time And the strongest man's the wisest fool Till he knows the road he rides for the snow goose cries to the cold north wind, the fool cries out for signs. And the snows of France and Holland are part of the unbind. Though the north wind knows no water, as it shifts across the shore. It finds out all the other roads For the dark age even more For those many is a weary corner He wanders to the rain And the snows of France and Holland Have parted me and mine Thanks again, Paul. Um, now we've got our second guest, although she's not really a guest, Iona Fife, who is um, um, award-winning Scots singer. She is the first person to um, have a, an officially a Scots language um, single um, released on Spotify. She has a beautiful voice and an incredible way of delivering songs and this is one of my favorite songs uh, it's now westland winds i'm iona fife i'm a folk singer for huntley in aberdeenshire now based in glasgow the first song i'm going to sing is called westland winds or a song composed in august and i learned this from rod patterson when he was teaching me at the royal conservatory of scotland so 
Now who wrestling winds and slaughtering guns bring autumn's blessing to heather? The moocock springs on whirring wings among the blooming heather. Now we think green, white are the plain, delights the weary farmer. The moon shines bright as I rove at night. Tame muse upon my charmer. And the peach recluse, the fruit fulfills, the plover loose the mountain, and the woodcock haunts the lonely dells, the soaring hern, the fountains, through lofty groves, the cushat roves, the path on it, the hazel bush our hangs the thrush, the spreading thorn, the linnet. Thus every kind their pleasure find, the savage and the tender. Some social join in leagues combine, some solitary wonder. I want we the cruel sway, tyrannic man's dominion, the sportsman's joy, the murdering cry. The fluttering gory pinion. But Peggy, dear, the evening's clear. Thick flies the skimming swallow. And the sky is blue, the fields in view. All feeding green and yellow. Come, let us dream our glad some way and view the charm of nature, the rustling corn, the fruited thorn, and elk a happy creature. We'll gently walk and swiftly talk. While the silent moon shines clearly, I'll clasp thy waist and fondly press, swear how I lose thee dearly. Not vernal showers to budding flowers, not autumn to the farmer, so dear can be as thou to me, my fair, my lovely charmer. Thanks a lot, Iona. Um, right, Mr. Doug Hay, the Oraloon himself, my good neighbour from just around the corner, and a fine singer. Um, this is a this is a sing along song, really, um, and I would be very disappointed if I can't hear, off in the distance, all of you singing Lintanadi Turanadi, Lintanadi Turane. Turanadi, hope you're not keeping our act. Is a wee song for the Oraloon. Uh, the barnyards are Elgibi, Tara Market. In New Dear Parish, I was born. A child, a youth, a myth, like came. 
And if ye dinna believe my word, the session clerk will tell the same. Lintonadi to Renadi, Lintonadi to Rene, Linton Lauren, 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 the bar and yards a delgate. Now to work upon my feathers firm, now that was never my intent. But I loot the lassie's double wheel, and I the antren drop a drink. Lent and addy to an addy, Lent and addy to an e. Lent and lowren, 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 the bar in yards a delgate. As I come and be nether deal to tar a market for the fee, I fell in we a fair barchil for the bar in yards a delgate. Lent and addy to an addy, lent and addy to an e. Lent and lowren, 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 the bar in yards a delgate. Well, he promised me the twa best horse. The finest pair ye had ever seen. But when I get him to the barren yards, there was nothing there but skin and bean. Lent and addy to an addy, lent and addy to an e. Lent and lowren, 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 the barren yards a delgate. Well, the all black horse sat on its hunkers, the grey mare she lay on her wame, and for a that I could hop and cry, they wouldn't rise at yoke and time. Lent and addy to an addy, lent and addy to an e, lent and lowren, 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 the bar in yards a delgate. New Meg MacPherson mocks my bros. But her and me were can agree. I am mot and files a canot, and I the other jelp a bree. Lent and addy to an addy, lent and addy to an e. Lent and lowren, 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 the bar in yards a delgate. Long make scotch a max my bed. You can see the marks upon my shins, for she's a gale trick a jod, and she falls my bed we prickly winds. Lent and addy to an addy, lent and addy to an e, lent and lowren, 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 the bar and yards a delgate. No, I gang to the kirk on a Sunday. Money's the bonny lass I see. Sit and be her feather side and winking out the pews at me. Lent and addy to an addy. Lent and addy to an e. Lent and lowren, lowren, lowren. The bar in yards a delgate. No, I can ficht. And they get slain, and I can drink, and they get drunk, and I can lie with another man's wife, and I be welcome to my inn. Lent and addy to an addy, lent and addy to an e, lent and lowren, 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 the bar in yards would ill get he. No, my carnal, it is no brunt out, the snotters. Fairly on the win, say fair ye well ye barren yards, you'll never catch me here again. Lent and addy to an addy, lent and addy to an e, lent and lowren, 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 the barren yards o' delgat he. There we go now, that was Stara Market. Keep safe up day, cheerio. Thanks, Dougie. I uh, uh, hope everybody sang. Everybody's had a, had a good time. Good. Excellent. Right. Now, we've got uh, a special collaboration. This is um, Debbie and Paul Mudy, who um, I've done some, I've done collaborating with before, and we've got one on the go at the moment. That is to come um, another time. 
But this is um, something they've done with Bev Baxter. And um, it's the old Irish song, The Spinning Wheel. I'll, I'll let Bev introduce it. The tune for this wee song just slipped into my mind like an earworm when I was sitting spinning on a wet day in December. Since then, it's been transformed into a performance piece thanks to Debbie and Paul Moody. So here, with myself on vocals, with Debbie on recorder and emotional support, and with Paul on keyboard and digital wizardry, is the old Irish ballad, The Spinning Wheel. I hope you enjoy it. Mellow the moonlight to shine is beginning Close by the window young Eileen is spinning Bent o'er the father blind grandmother sitting With crooning and moaning and drowsily Thanks very much, uh, Bev, and uh, thanks, Deb and Paul as well. Um, lovely rendition of that uh, lovely song. Okay, now we have our third guest of the evening. Our third guest, oh no! Um, this is a lady with an absolutely beautiful voice. Um, I think I've said this before, but Bob Phillips, when he first heard her, thought he was listening to Joan Baez. Um, 
and I, I don't blame him. Uh, Eileen Ordish, um, who currently um, abides in Australia, long, long way away, but um, is fairly regularly sending us um, songs that uh, are helping us through this particular time. This one is It's a Working Man I Am. It was written by Rita McNeil and um, well here she is. It's a Working Man I Am. <laughs> Thanks very much, Eileen. Thank you very, very much. Um, back to the regulars. This is Ronan Fitzsimons and a song that I know oh so, so very well. Um, I was brought up in Lancashire, as many of you know, and if you don't, well, you do now. Um, and uh, Lancashire has a very, very large population of, uh, um, or had, a large population of Irish immigrants and um, Irish families, second, third and fourth generation um, Irish folks. I went to school with lots of them. And um, the first band I was in, uh, I spent lots and lots of time time uh, in um, Irish clubs and, and Catholic clubs uh, in and around the north of Manchester. And uh, so when Ronan is sim singing this, I'll be singing along. Go on, Ronan. How is everyone? I hope you are all okay and holding up all right during these, shall we say, strange and wonderful times. Uh, 
Here's a song set to set to the Robbie Burns tune, The Winter It Is Past. Um, and the song is called The Curra of Kildare. <laughs> And the summer's come at last The small birds are singing in the trees Their little hearts are glad Ah, but mine is very sad Since my true love she's far away from And straight I will repair to the Curra of Kildare, for it's there I'll find tidings of my dear. The rose upon the briar by the waters running clear brings joy to and the me their little hearts are blessed ah, but mine can know no rest since my true love she's far away from me and straight I will repair to the Cora of There I'll find tidings of my dear A livery I'll wear Oh, and I'll come back my hair In velvet so green I will appear And straight I will repair to the Curra of Kildare For it's there I'll find tidings of my dear And straight I will repair To the Curra of Kildare For it's there I'll find tidings With some frills around my neck Golden rings on my fingers I will wear Yes, this I'll undertake For me own true lover's sake For she lives in the Curra of Kildare and straight I will repair to the Curra of Kildare. For it's there I'll find tidings of my dear. All you who are in love, oh, and cannot it remove. I pity the pain that you endure for experience lets me know that your hearts are full of woe yes a woe that no mortal can cure and straight I will repair to the Cora of There I'll find tidings of my dear And straight I will repair To the Curra of Kildare For 
is there I find tidings of my dear. Okay, many, many thanks. Stay safe, everybody. Take good care now. All the best. Thanks very much, Ronan. Thank you. Um, now it's time to finish off the first half. And we're going to finish off the first half with Mr. Bob Sharp, uh, a man who has impressed uh, and affected me more and more and more the longer I've known him. Uh, he has incredible delivery. He's got uh, a wonderful experience in uh, um, the folk circuit and and um, and delivering songs, um, particularly from Glasgow, particularly by Matt McGinn. Uh, but but by a lot of other people um, and uh, he has a way uh, of catching your emotions um, mainly because he has a passion for what he does so without further ado to finish off the half we we'll go straight into our break um, after he's uh, sung when you can go and get teas and coffees and alcoholic beverages and non-alcoholic beverages and biscuits and whatever you want. Uh, I'll just go to the loo. Uh, he is going to sing for us High Germany. Take it away, Bob. Well, hello again. Here we are again. Uh, I've got a wee song for you tonight. This is a song I learned from the singing of Martin Carthy. It's a song called High Germany. <laughs> Polly, dearest Polly, the rout has now begun, Aye, and we must go a marching to the beating of the drum. Go oh, dress yourself all in your best and come along with me. I'll take you to the cruel wars in High Germany. Oh, Willie, dearest Willie, come list what I do say. Me feet, they are so tender, I cannot march away. And besides me, dearest Willie, I am with child by thee, not fated for the cruel wars in high Germany. Well, I'll buy for you a horse, me love, and on it you shall ride. All my life I'll be there wandering by your side We'll stop at every ale house and drink when we are dry We'll be true to one another, get married by and by Oh, cursed be the cruel wars that ever they should rise to Mary England press many a man likewise They press me true love from me Likewise me brothers three And send them to the cruel wars in high Germany My friends I do not value Me foes I do not fear And now me love has left me I'll wander far and near and when me baby it is born and smiling on me knee, I'll think of lovely Willie in high Germany. Oh Polly, dearest Polly, the rout is now begun, and we must go a march into the beaten of the drum. Go oh, dress yourself all in your best and come along with me. I'll take you to the cruel wars in high Germany. Said was a sailor. Row, row, row in the 
Set up some cannon on Port Soy's port wall And we'll fire 15 balls to the sea Then come one and come all To the good old Scotch arms Drink my health, I'll drink yours And we'll stand no alarm Yes, I'll drink with your brother For we'll work for each other And not rest till our children are free In a drop of dew, I scream on a free weekend. The bothy, the boats, and the hall. A feeling you found a friend. Only ten miles from Banff and McDuff, home to harbor a few. As strong as a breaker, as douce as a calm, sung with the surge of a prayer or a psalm, to take you and me through a perfect storm. Will you be a song to sail in? Will you be a song to sing? Our message bag in hand, fit. Like the day the weather's fine, foes often mechty gran. The butcher shop for and beef met in we muggy reed. Aches and pain she has a march, all blends and flechy heed. Sign Lizzie Donald's bakery shop for buttries, bops and scones. And here's that woolly highs run off we florist Betty Jones. The drug is then for aspirin and pile cream for her bum. Here you could tell at a glance, surrender was offered, they had no chance. So the drug went woof, the gun went pop, nay surrender, nay retreat, nay stop. Stand your gran, let's tack her on, give three cheers and let her run. Full speed ahead and awa we go, steaming through the strait o ho tranto Barking mad went the mascot dug. And I am the harbour, come the sun to me. I am the harbour, come the sun to me. I am the harbour, come the sun to me. I am the harbour, come the sun. Craig of Boyne, Old House, Cow House, Strathmartin, King's Head, East Head. From East Sprays to West Sprays, look down on me. So stand proud, stand tall. Stand together, oh, we're all. We are them that share our land, sea and sky. Scotia, UK, Caledonia, OK. For all lands, a land for all that we Welcome back. Um, I hope everybody is refreshed and renewed and ready to go into the second half. We're going to kick that off straight away with the amazing, wonderful Spears family, um, led by Tom this time. 
and this is the Bro 7 Lasses. <laughs> Ye bra servant lasses, I'll sing ye her song To the wet of the old and the pride of the young Ye vagrancy body as sure as my life Ye can scarce tell the servant lass for the good wife We met twiggy for thee for lal diddle thee At tween six and seven young miss goes to school A four we will gain if she's wise or a fool It's there that she learns to read and to write Tell she's fit for a lawyer or something sick like We may twiggy for leave a loud in the league When schooling is over to service she goes In search of high wages as you may suppose Then she sets out in her white horse and goon And a bonnet with hud the moon like for the doon We may twiggy for leave a loud in the league Thank you so much. Thanks very much um, to Maggie and Emma and Tom. Um, they have a, a great sound, don't they? They have a fantastic sound um, together. And when families sing together, it just it just makes me uh, happy. Okay, we um, we're now going to come to that um, lady whose whose voice I, I adore. Um, I make no excuses. It's fantastic, um, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna hear from Alison McConaughey and, and Neil McConaughey. Um, this is a track that we we put on our uh, the Northern Shore album, uh, "The Fishing's Gone," um, and actually, uh, <laughs> three fifths of Northern Shore had nothing to do with it. It was uh, recorded just by Alison and Neil. And this is them playing Shularoon. Isku 
Thanks very much, Alison and Neil. Um, God, I love that voice. <laughs> okay, we're I suppose we're now to our, our main main event. Um, this is Scott Gardiner, and um, he's giving us a, an extended a twenty five minute set um, uh, that is really dedicated to Jim Reed. But I'll let him explain all that himself. A couple of years ago at Keith Festival, I did a wee Jim Reed tribute set at one of the concerts and Bob asked if it'd be up for doing a similar thing for you folks in Port Soy tonight. So I thought we'll give it a shot. Jim was a great hero of mine and a great influence to singers across the country really, but particularly in his native Angus and Tayside. Um, I'm not going to concentrate on the sort of the big hits, if you like. I, I thought I'd give you a chance to hear some of the ones that you didn't get to hear quite so often. So I'm going to start off with one he wrote to a great 
Angus Ramblin' Man song called Stravigan. Well, as I come in, but pardon erm, and passing money's the wealthy firm, I thought it wouldn't a deeny herm to try and get a feed. I knocked and walk unto the door, a farmer we a big twelve bore. He glowered at me, and then he swore to blast my bloody heed. I found it in a far, far pub, a lad had gin there seeking grub, and left the doctor in the club afore he shut the craw. I learnt a lesson then and there that if I could na be your share, if he was out a wa somewhere, I wouldn't spear a va. Now, after that our deal, you see, a bed and far, far on the spree, but the bobbies apprehended me for peeing up a close. I have to say in my defence, New a days have got mere sense, and it was nae up against an electric fence like happened on last time. They put me up to nor inside the big hoose where the prisoners bide for thirty days. I did reside, gain pleasure to the queen. Inside was dry, and it did rain. I know the food, I'll no complain. I'll maybe talk legends there again, if I get them for the same price. A mile or twa fae lucky slap, I gie the wifey's door a chap, and asked if I could tuck a nap and tae her barn or shed. She says, come in and sit ye doon, I'll mak ye tea tuck off your shin, the good man's gain and tae the tune, and ye can hae his bed. I ate her food, I drunk her wine, I slipped into her bed so fine, and when the clock struck half past nine, she came in through the door. She leapt on me, we shudder strong, wecht and pecked the hill next long, in the morning when I rose to gang, far tired than afore. But when we come to all Dundee, there was same money sex to see. I thought I'd stop my wandering free and try and settle down. But when the psalm all bout it, the police became violent, and to my great astonishment, they threw me at the tune. I wandered through the gowry cars with twa thick ears and gaze ear arse and I vowed I'd never hear a farce again like in Dundee. For me, Stravagan is the life, there's never any sign of strife. I'll wander fake if nest to fife until the day I die. <laughs> okay, I'm going to sing you a uh, Violet Jacob one now. Of course, Jim is, was best known for, for the Wild Geese song and other poems that he put to music by Violet, such as, uh, such as Halloween. This is one called Bonnie Joanne, and for me it just captures this sort of hearse time atmosphere around about Montrose. Uh, Violet Jacob is from the House of Dunn, just beside Montrose Basin. And uh, oh, we'll give it a shot. We've stuck at the hearst and we're needing to gather it in. And gin the morn's dry, they'll be leading and work all begin. And now I'll award in the brayside, my lane while I can. Walkins while me on the wayside, my bonny Joan. East yonder the hearse field is hiding the sea fame in. Gin ye keek where the stooks are dividing, you'll see it a twin. Say, do sons, sister, 
it has sleeped since her time began. Like my love, can you talk it and keep it, my bonny John? Our wrath in the shadows gang trailing mong stubble and strain. Fae the ditch to the foot o the palin, the rocks o the way. But the sun will gang through with his beamin and travel his barn. And I be the licht o my dreamin I see ye join. I wa fae ye nae be dees brave mair wise like and bold and a side ye a hech and a haver am het and am cold but o gin a kent we would speak in the heart o a man. Ye might find him the lad that ye're seeking, my bonny John, my bonny John. Well, I guess Jim is best known for his songs of rural Angus, but of course he was a born and bred Dundonian. You could, you could smell the dew off him, as they say. And this is one that he wrote. He had, he had a kind of, uh, well, to my mind, a sort of songwriting renaissance during the, during the mid-90s. And one that he wrote about this time was just about his, his childhood in Dundee at the time that the, the Second World War was happening and how the... The lads and lassies the, and the bairns, they, they just didn't quite realise that the men were away fighting, you know. They were still just going on with their childhood, as, as you normally would. And they didn't know that the men were away at the war, so it's, it's just called We Didn't Know. I was born in the city at the mouth of the tea. When the big ships came in to the harbour each day And the smell of the jet felt the air And the noise of the looms everywhere And the bomber would blow and the women would go But we didn't know that the men were away to the war Every day after school we'd go out to the street With the rest of our pals that we'd promised to meet And we booted a ball till it burst To us nothing could ever be worse And the bummer would blow and the women would go But we didn't know that the men were away to the war. And sometimes a siren would sound through the night. In the shelters we'd play till the bombers took flight. And we wondered how Ma looked for now. When the chopper up gave her a shout, and the bomber would blow. And the women would go, but we didn't know that the men were away to the war. Now all of that seems such a long time ago. I'm a stranger to this town that I used to know, where the smell of the jet felt the air. There's no noise of the looms everywhere, but let the bombers all blow, let the women all know, men won't have to go, no, never again to the war. Let the bombers all blow, let the women all know, 
Men won't have to go, no, never again, to the war. All right, we'll go back to rural Angus now. A song, it wasn't actually written by Jim, but it was very closely associated with both him and a guy called Smokey Gray, who was a contemporary of Jim's. Um, it's a song called The Ballad of Flechy Eck, and it was written by a guy who had a smitty down at Clatter Ha. Uh, some of you will maybe know kind of where Clatter Ha is. It's just down the road from Bogandolo, uh, just beside the where they're, the A90 goes across the South Esk, just at, at Finnevin. So it's uh, the Ballad of Flecky Egg. Old Sandy Brun was tucked in bed, he couldn't sleep a va. He tossed and turned and asked his wife to gee his back a claw. Had up your sark, says Mary Jane, oh, had it up, says she. And I'll just hae a look about to see what I can see. So Sandy howket up his sark, my money groans and pecks, and then a low his summit was chock a block we flex. There was great big flex and little flex, and flex you couldn't flag. There was flex with bales and flex with piles, a flex we a wooden leg. Another flex we a bandaged throat was a tied up with clout, and waiting on an hospital bed to get his tonsils out. Sign Sandy saw the strangest sect that they ain't seen for weeks. For a teddy boy fleck we a big shoe horn was slipping on his breeks. A monster fleck come on the scene, he toured the bin the ma. He'd muckle logs and curly hair and teeth just like a saw. He had been hiding in Sandy Sark since 1892. And he was hain a look about to see what he could shaw. No Sandy's hardies, they were bare, the flesh rose with delight. And sunk his teeth in Sandy's haunch and gied a muckle bite. No Sandy roared, but the flesh hung in till Sandy nearly grat. Sign Mary took the rolling pin and knocked the bastard flat. Old Sandy's feeling better now, they flex alow his sark. But he's got lumps across his ribs, the flex have left their mark. He offers up a prayer each night, likewise his good wife Jane, that they'll be blessed as long as they live. And there he flex again. Okay, I'll do you one now that uh, Jim wrote in its entirety. It's a song called Vinnie Den. When, when I first knew Jim, he, he lived just in the outskirts of Letham, just where the, the Vinnie water uh, kind of rushes down. It, it's not a particularly big or intimidating water course, but uh, it joins the, the Loonan at Freakham and then out to, out to Loonan Bay. And this is just a, just a, a story he's, he, he kind of made up and thought it would be a, be a great song. So it's called The Vinnie Den. As I get over by Brackley Brig, it was on my way to Bowery Fag. I met we sick a bonnie lass. What turn the inno on him had? Said I, my dear, it's getting late. The sun's long dropped our lonely hill. Have you got very far to go? She said, I bide a dead vest mill. My feather, he's the 
lad there. An honest man he'll surely ken. And he'll treat you fairly if you'll see me safely through the finide. I took her hand and we set off to struggle down the burn side. The lengthening shadows grew so dark. My growing fears I tried to hide. I said to her, let's sing a song. The tune will help us on her way she sang so sweet i lost my fear she fairly stole my heart away but when we come to the fewer's end after we'd won through dark Fenaden, my bonny lass was ta'en awa by four and twenty angry men. But she broke loose Come running back when she saw they tied me to a tree. Saying as this, the thanks a laddie gets for all the help he's been to me. They listen to our story then. They took a knife and cut me loose. They set us back upon a horse and led us to her feathers whose her feather was so glad to see that she was safe and free from her and I was asked if I would fee as horsemen on Nochtar Lowney fell. I courted her from that day on, and to wed with me she did agree. Though old and grey, we I will mind when she comes through the finiden we meet. All right, well, thanks very much for listening. Uh, I'm going to finish off just with a, a song that Jim wrote in collaboration with Paul McCartney and also Angus McPherson. It's a song called The Foundry Bar. They basically wrote a parody of Mullock and Tyre about this uh, famous music pub in our broth. Uh, Jim certainly spent lots of time there and uh, Angus as well. I'm not sure if Paul McCartney 
ever went inside, but uh, he was maybe more of a Seaforth Hotel kind of a man. Uh, but the, the Fenry Bar really was where Jim's career sort of really started to, to gather pace, you know, when he got the Fenry Band together and they started going to, to festivals round about and then they started making records as it was in those days and uh, he just became much more well known through that. So, yeah, thanks very much to everyone for listening and, well, a thanks to Jim and make sure you go out and track down some of his recordings and, and hear his songs and also sing them if, uh, if you're a singer. So thanks and we'll catch you again. Out along Milgate and down by the brew, you'll find a wee door that is welcoming you. Where you got the best service in our broth by far. When you met Davy Stott, oh, the Foundry Bar, Foundry Bar, the Rickroll and Dunte. The same a desire is always to be near the foundry bar. Now the furnishings lavish, expense does nae lack. When you gang to the bog, you've to turn your back. There's dirts and there's dominoes, the best on a war, the nightlife o' our broth. Is the foundry bar, foundry bar, the ink crawling dunty, the seam a desire is always to be near the foundry bar. Now the pub was ten hour by Bella and Roy, and the bog renovations made being a joy. There's a place for a woman and in for a man, and you just can't handle to flush out the pan at the foundry bar. The recurl and dunty, the seam a desire is always to be near the foundry bar. Now when Bella teen hour, then abadi can't. What these are my mountains actually meant? Closing time coming, nae bell you could hear, for she just gied a barrel, and the hill place was clear at the foundry bar, the recrawl and dunty, the seam a desire is always to be near the foundry bar. Now what marks the foundry above all the rest is the musical evenings, the finest and best. So put on your coat, we'll go down for a jar, or a tune, or a song, at the foundry bar. Foundry bar, the recurl and dunty, the seam a desire is always to be near the foundry bar. Thanks, Scott. Thank you very much. Um, he's a lad, isn't he? Uh, cracking performance from him, as usual. And, um, well, we come to the last performance of the evening. This is actually part of a, another extended set that we're going to bring you, um, hopefully, later on in the year. But, I couldn't wait. <laughs> um... I love the fiddle playing of Sarah Beattie and um, she has a, a set of um, reels here that, uh, that hopefully you'll get your feet tapping um, and after that we'll be finished for another month. Thank you very much for watching, thank you for listening, thank you for supporting music um, and let's hope as we head into the near future that um, things will improve. 
Take care. Um, bye now. I'm going to finish off with one last set of tunes, set of reels. Uh, some favourites of mine from the Blazing Fiddles tune book. Um, has a lot of great tunes in it. I'm sure you'll agree with me now, the Blazing Fiddles. And this is the Mouse Skin Shoe, Siobhan O'Donnell's. And the last two, well, I'm going to add in Hull's reel and Bonnie Mulligan, I think, is the name of the last one. Um, but thank you so much for having me and I hope you're staying safe and enjoying the snow to some extent. Cheers. Bye.
Thanks so much. Take care. Ciao.